So guys, there's some really cool features I want to talk to you about manipulating your Lake Master map on your Hummingbird. Um, it's depth colors, shallow water highlight, and depth highlight. First thing I want to talk to you about is going to be depth colors. We're going to go in here to our chart options, Hummingbird settings. We'll go down to depth colors. You have a range of zero all the way to 10. Zero is going to come up. It's going to be a pretty solid color, 10 being really white. I like to run mine in the one to three range. That's going to give you a good mixture of the shallow water being wider. And as you get deeper, the water's gonna turn more dark blue just by visually looking at it without having to really read the numbers. Next thing I wanna talk to you about is gonna be shallow water highlight. You're gonna go right here. This is really a safety feature in my opinion. Um, when you're fishing in less than five foot of water, it stands out really good to you. Let's say a lot of the fish or the grass you're looking for is in three foot. I'll use that to my advantage then by only setting it to three. But 90% of the time, I'm gonna set that to five foot just because in anything under five foot, I'm gonna wanna start paying attention to where I'm running. So I'm gonna change my shallow water highlight to five feet. Give it just a second to change and upload the map. And now you can see we have everything that's under five foot deep highlighted in red. I'm gonna know not to go run right there without paying attention or being familiar with the area beforehand. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is gonna be depth highlight. Go back to our hummingbird settings. We're gonna go down to depth highlight. Just for practical purposes of this video, I wanna um, highlight five foot to 10 foot. That'll be my next layer out of depth that I'm really looking at. It's springtime. I've been targeting fish today in that five to 10 foot range. So we're gonna use that for our example here. I'm going to run my depth highlight up to eight foot, and then we're gonna go down to highlight range, which is plus or minus um, X amount of feet that I pick, and I'm gonna put two more feet in. That should highlight everything from six foot to 10 foot. To keep my OCD down, I'm gonna add one more to it to get that five foot range that's in between those two. That's gonna give you a good painting on your map, really helps you dictate things just by looking at it without having to read the numbers or run over there and check the depth yourself. You can see um, visually from your map, just with a quick glance, what the depths are like, how the bottom's gonna lay out, if it's flat, if it's steep, if there's a creek swinging in. As you can see back in here in this flat, we have a little bit of a deep range um, going under this bridge. Um, you know, and that's just a creek channel swing. Things like that really start to stand out to you. Helps you break down a lake a lot quicker. But let's say the crappie are out in 15 foot, plus or minus, you know, a foot. You catch finding some in 14, you're finding some in 16. Let's go down to your depth highlight. I'm gonna, just for practical purposes, I'm gonna turn my highlight range back to zero. We'll set this on 14 foot. And if you were to do it like this, it's gonna highlight that single line. All your 14 foots are gonna turn green. And then let's add one foot to that. So now your map's gonna be manipulated to change the 13 to 15 foot range in green. You've got a single line, you've got a good depth range you know to be looking at when you're using your mega imaging. However you wanna attack that depth range, you now have it highlighted. You know how to keep your boat right where you want it to be able to find those fish.